and we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be doing the level 65 minor quest. And as always, hello from Ifri. So I've been flying through the levels, doing Grand Company turn-ins every day. So if you go here, duty timers, click on here, you can see what turn-ins are available. And these give millions and millions of EXP bonus every single day, so they're worth doing. Been doing some leaves in Kugane and stuff like that. So that's why I've got my levels to 68 so quick. But we're doing the level 65 quest in this video. Because of the fact it will give this 2 million EXP. And we'll get the ability Endless Toil of the Mountaineer. So it automatically renders all out of reach items available. Um, reachable, sorry. Only available for mineral deposits or rocky outcrops level 60 or below. So okay, so this basically trivializes everything level 60 and below, which is good. So not a way to longs to live in a world where he is able to simply ask you to do some mining. So Mifri, the time has come for your next mining job. Is what I would be saying to you right now if we lived in a perfect world. Yet yeah, another fire has broken out in the manufactory. Hurry, we've wasted enough time already. Okie dokie. Let's go. So, our adventurer, I was just recalling a time when my work used to be so enjoyable, absent of any petty squabbles. Alas, that was a long time ago. My workers are at it once again. This time it's Zensei and Stackbox who are quarreling over uh, uh, Gob Roller's controls. Oh, my brain case aches so. My apologies, I have a nice de habit of slipping back into gobby speak when vexed. I am ashamed to ask this of you once more, but could you talk to the two of them? You did a great work before and I cannot think of any other way to solve this. Cool, so let's talk to them. So Sackblocks wants to design Whirly and size for Uplanders, but Zensei says no. Sensei has knowings of whirlycocks. Why won't he make gob roller inside suit uplanders? Zackblocks can't sweat work these adult brained ideas. Sensei needs to think like gobby. Which is ironic. Since the non goblin wants only goblin controls. So you want to know why I'm fighting with Slackbox? Oh, it would be my pleasure to tell you. She wants to design the controls to be here friendly. Can you believe that? Any imbecile knows that goblins are best suited to operating such machinery, and the gob roller will be no exception. What sense does it make to design the controls for races that are hardly going to use the thing? No work will be done until she acknowledges the error of her ways. Although I wonder if someone that deluded is capable of such a thing. So, I know that can't have been easy. On the bright side, now that we know the issue, all we need to do is fix it. So, would you be able to bring me five chunks of feather iron ore, old girl? Splendid. My friend, the so a merchant of sorts, is more knowledgeable of this particular mineral than I. Seek him out at the hard place. He shall tell you where to find what we need. Okie dokie. Let's go. So the odd place is just the bar across the way. Let's get their ASAP. Okay, here it is. So you are the uplander that gave Gobby all more precious than Jingle Shine. Good Gobby friend indeed. Are you well? So searching for feather iron ore, Gobby is always willing to aid uh, Stickwix's busy deals. Uplander is good Gobby friend, so no jingle shine is needed. You will find what you seek in the Far East. Head for the Ruby Sea. Okay. So, given we have to go to Hell's Lid, um, I'm going to actually teleport to Kugane first. And then I will get into Ruby Sea. Because Hell's Lid is all the way to the south. So it would be a potential very long run if we... Because I don't have flying yet unlocked in um, 
any of the zones. So I have to go there on foot. So what we're aiming for, get to the pier and this thing. Ferry two. Ferry skipper. I wonder if he'll take me to Kugane or not. Sorry, to Ruby C. No, this is just a housing area. Okay, will he take me to Ruby C or this zone miner's in? Yes. Cool. Right. So, where we actually need to go is here. All the way that way. So, let's do it. Now remember you can sprint on the water well on water as well. Let's do it. Now remember as well that we actually do need to get five high qualities. So we will save our sk skills for the right moment. It's actually the first time I've been to this hell's lid so might as well enjoy it. Okay, can I jump up here? Yes, okay, cool. The 400 to the west. And be careful when you go around these sort of zones because if you look at my health, I've got 2,800 health. It's uh, very, very dangerous for someone like me to be here. Let's go this way. Reminds me almost of um, if it's Cauldron and Final Fantasy XI. Almost, well, not quite. If anything, I felt that if it's Cauldron was more scary because the corridors are even tighter than this. Okay. Almost there, almost there. Um, there we go. Right, so let's see if we get what we need. Okay, here they are, feather, iron, ore. But while we're here, let's just unlock this one as well. Cool. Fair enough. Let's try and get as many high qualities as we can. One. Two. And don't be scared to use core deals, like because we, I've been doing the Grand Company dailies every day, uh, I've got a huge, huge amount of core deals spare. Okay, so that's free. Damn it. Right, so let's try again. And... Gathering is just luck based at 100%. There isn't any way really to guarantee ever 100% high quality. So you just have to make do and just keep doing it until you get there. But thankfully the EXP you get for mining and botanist and fish are incredibly generous. Ah, this way. And if there are monsters nearby that you know are going to attack you then just uh, use invisible cool my GP is really low already so I'm gonna wait until there's a boost and then I will use my increased critical or not unless I finish it before then there you go I'm done Lol. missed damn it cool so that was that so now let's go back to Idleshire wasn't too bad at all to be perfectly honest because sometimes you can be incredibly unlucky and it'll take you like 10 20 minutes to get it done but it took me like what five okay here he is So, was my merchant friend able to point you in the right direction? Yep. So it says, 
Not technically as light as an actual feather, this rare variety of iron weighs slightly less than the normal iron, making it pre a preferable alternative. It's if enough can be procured. It's ironic that they made it blue, like the adamantite ores in 11. So perfect, the quality is even better than the last batch you delivered. Anonawato, fetch Zensai and stack blocks for me. So, Sack Block's ear catches that Stickwix wants to trade Tongue Flaps with Gobby, but why is Zensei here? Take a look at this before you get too riled up. By the Twelve, I have never seen a mineral quite like this in my life. So, Sack Blocks does not see this in Eorzea. Where did I plan to find it? I found it in Nod. We have our miner friend travel all the way to the Far East to retrieve this for us. Once melted, it can be used to create metal as light as a feather. Well, almost. Use this to create the vehicle's controls, and I am certain this decrease in weight will enable you to design uh, something very special indeed. Chief, I have not the foggiest idea what you are saying. Look, both of your attitudes are perfectly logical. But this is Idleshire, a place where goblins and men live in harmony. Are you telling me that our work could not reflect that? So why not make two sets of interchangeable paddles for the gob roller? One would be suitable for either goblins, lava fells, and the other smaller races. And the other would account for the realm's larger races. I am positive that if the two of you work together, you have the potential to create controls convenient for all races. I would not have bothered the request of our minor friend's help otherwise. So, Chief uh, Stickwicks is best gobby. Two brain cases are better than one. Sorry to admit, but I was indeed in the wrong. Come on, Stack Blocks, let us start a mechanical revolution. So, yet again, you have saved the day. My thanks, Mifri. Excellent work today, as always. Let's head outside to discuss your next job. So, yes, I'd like to believe there actually will be a next job. Lol. So, mayhap I ought to consult with Slowfix about this. I just feel that something needs to be done to improve our working conditions. We can't very well expect to finish this project in a timely manner if we're bickering every step of the way. It will also not do to rely on your help forever. I have the utmost confidence in the ability of every single one of my workers. I just wish I could stop worrying about their personalities. If only there was some way they could all work in harmony. Ah, sorry old girl, this is nothing for you to concern yourself with. Go and speak with Nonawato. He's been waiting for more than this is waiting more than long enough. Fair enough, fair enough. So let's go. Here he is. So nice gentle jog. We don't have to sprint everywhere. So allow me to thank you once again for all your hard work. I love to say this will be the last time we require your problem solving talents, but recent events make me somewhat doubtful. I wish I could have helped myself, but someone in my position really needs to remain neutral during times like these. I wouldn't imagine we will be requiring your services, mining or otherwise. In the immediate future, so do take this chance to rest up. Cool. So let's take that. Complete. So, in breaking new ground as a miner, you have learned endless toil of the mountaineer. Nice. So, anyway guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and as always, goodbye from me, and goodbye from Mifri. Bye guys.